Hello and welcome back. Sorry for the squeak. That that happens in there. Um, <laughs> uh, um, welcome back to BattleTech. We uh, we do be battle tech and we we be, we tech we we're, we're gonna tech a couple of battles. That's for sure. Um, I'm gonna be doing some freelancing and I didn't really get much in terms of uh, an answer or um, even suggestions in the comments, but that's fine. That just means I'm gonna do what I want to do, and that uh, just happens to be playing more BattleTech and recording, and that's pretty much what I do anyway. So, <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna be playing some basic missions. Um, they're gonna be pretty easy, and we're just buying time until our next story mission pops up, and uh, we'll be earning uh, some credits and maybe some mech parts, and uh, and it'll, it should be a f fine time. It's gonna be pretty lax. It's, it's gonna be a chill BattleTech session, hopefully. Um, we've heard you're a competent mercenary. Hold on, what's the what's the actual mission here? Last mech standing. They've been raising population centers, burning fields and refineries, looting storage facilities. They're clearly doing everything. We need you to find them and destroy them. Okay, well, it is fine. We we are going to be um, destroying some mechs as we do, as you do. Um, I know. Uh, I, I just I guess I want to address this early so that people catch it. But I know people recommended that. Um, you know, friending with the pirates is very good because you get access to the black market, but uh, I don't necessarily want to do what is optimal. I want to do what feels right. And for me, what feels right is taking the missions that come to me and then I'm um, kind of letting the faction sift out naturally. Because the fact of the matter is, is if I didn't know literally what you get for making good friends with any faction, then I wouldn't really, you know, make those choices based on the optimal result if that makes sense i would make choices based on what makes sense and what makes sense is i don't know what i get from each faction i know i get the black market if i get the if i make friends with the pirates but i've that's only because i've been told that and um i don't necessarily like to make those kind of meta choices so in any case, uh, while all this really boils down to right now is um, I have two missions and I can either do Trap Sprung uh, at a higher difficulty and basically the same pay or I can do Last Mech Standing against the pirates for basically the same pay and a lower um, risk. I think it makes more sense to take missions that are lower risk, but I guess I'm not going to take anything right now because I'm going to have to wait a little bit of time um, as uh, all of my or at least two of my mech warriors are out of commission let's uh, let's see what our, our little mini story here is in the morning briefing uh, yang jumps right in commander the leopard is too small my mech techs keep tri tripping over everything chief we've talked about this darius says in ex exasperation we can't exactly knock down any walls samaya inserts him herself what if we move some supplies into the other parts of the, of the leopard? The bunks, the kitchen, hell. I'll even store some boxes in the cockpit if it'll help. Yang rubs his chin. Yeah, if I had some breathing room for a week, I could reorganize and make room for everything to move back. Um, fill every last corner of the leopard with mech bay supplies. Yeah. Morale decreased by one, but the company gains plus three tech points boost. Well, that's not good. I think I'd rather... I would prefer a morale bonus than the mech, the, the tech bonus. I don't actually know what the tech bonus does, and I don't even know really how to find out. Um, it's probably something I can find out in the uh, the mech bay. I, I would assume it just means that it takes less time to repair uh, mechs or make changes to mechs. On your last day to the Leopard's Galley, or on your way to the Leopard's Galley, you run into Samire. Uh, heading the same way. Commander, it has been a long week. I know I can't make more hours in the day, but I can make more coffee. When you enter the cramped galley, you find a Decker and Medusa in a tense standoff in front of a nearby coffee, empty coffee pot. Decker sees you. Commander, this is the last of the coffee. The Exo says we won't have any more until the next supply run. Medusa shoves his way forward. I got here first, and he almost stole it while I was looking for my favorite mug. Um, if I take the coffee for myself, that just seems like just making trouble. Um, Samire. I, I'm not sure who Samire is in relevance to our, like, to our mechs, like, what her part is. Um, split it between them. I know it's a, it's, it is an annoyingly diplomatic choice 
and uh you know sometimes it is better to pick a side but in this case i'm just going to do that decker is getting the following tags for 30 days high spirits okay they both get high spirits well that's nice you hand one cup to decker and one to medusa drink up the next time i send you planet side i expect you to make every single shot oh okay decker and medusa are both mech pilots my bad um makes sense high spirits that's good I do wish, um, you know, I've kind of grown... Oh, there we go. Never mind. I was about to ask, you know, be a squeaky wheel and, and the oil is right there. This pilot has high morale and will be able to use inspiration abilities more than often in battle. Perfect. I love that. I, I do really appreciate tooltips. All right. So we're going to be going hard on morale again. Uh, now that I have a bit more disposable cash, we'll do one mission for mech parts and then we'll do a mission for finance that you is nice okay um so let's take a take that mission last mech standing and i don't think that i i really don't know if missions will like uh change depending on how, like if you wait long enough i think they probably change if you move to different parts of um the star map but i don't know if that's actually worth it it's a it's a bit of a weird one oh, i see we have a, a black market there so i don't know maybe maybe uh if this is something you know about um or know better eh, you can let me know in the comments like is it is it a good idea to uh move if, if your missions are not very good for me personally i tend to take whatever i is in the area um as long as it's not too difficult and um and then um what i'll do let me see here two of nine is better um if if something comes up that is worth moving for that's when i'll move let's see okay so we got blackjack uh, jack and the shadowhawk the vindicator and we need one more so we'll put the centurion in there um this all seems pretty good i like this Yes, yes, I know. The blackjack is under underweight right now. We will uh, we'll reconfigure it in the future. So yeah, I know it costs money to move, and I'm not sure how to like look at missions per sector. I don't know if maybe it's you get a feel for these th these things. Maybe there are per certain parts of the star map that have just more missions. But like I say, I us I usually tend to just take what's in front of me and then uh, play it by ear and maybe that's a good idea maybe that's a bad idea maybe that's an unoptimal but it's been kind of working for me for the most part um so yeah i might have to i may do a pause here just because it's going to take a little bit for uh, the combat to start all right that actually wasn't too long let's uh This is going to be a stand-up fight, Commander, your lance against the opposing forces. Intel says that they're near your current loca location. Move in and clear them out. Good hunting, Commander. Oliveira out. All right. Carbide hand bones. Let's go. Let's go. Um, and, you know, like, I guess, uh, you know, this is definitely a series that I acknowledge is not going to be popular. Um, and it's I'm doing it for me like I really am I'm doing it for like Whatever, you know five battle tech fans are out there that are you know here for the series and I'm doing it for me because I I really like this game and it is Very quickly becoming a new obsession for me um, But I do I do want it to be entertaining and I do worry that uh, doing You know freelance missions is gonna boil down to basically the same five moves every time is i'm gonna build up evasion i'm gonna go in and and you know hit them and, and probably i'm gonna overwhelm them um there's gonna be a little bit of play regarding verticality um but not a lot and so you know it's it's something that does concern me somewhat uh because I, I you know i want to make sure that this is entertaining for you um 50 50 i mean this is like a, you know this is our short range I guess we we should really just jump in so what is this mineral field these mineral deposits interfere with targeting systems plus four difficulty to hit units within a mineral field plus two difficulty for attacks made by units oh interesting so it's harder to hit 
someone who's in a mineral field, but it's also harder for them to fire. So let's let's avoid it for now. And that's a that is a much better uh, shot. Probably that is the uh, highest we can hope for, considering th their evasion. Ooh, that, no, all of them hits. That was great. Good to go. Um, I'm. I also like. I know that my mechs are kind of samey right now. I wouldn't mind playing a little bit with different mech designs. Maybe when I get some bigger mechs. Um, I'd like to have a little bit of variety, for sure. I wonder why. I guess the range isn't very good. Can we jump in a bit closer? No, it's 50-50, huh? 40-40, uh, what about this? 50-50-50, okay. Um, well, all right, let's, uh, let's jump in. I'll, I'll accept 50. What I'll do is I'm gonna aim for the one in the back just to reduce their evasion. Um, if your chances are low of sh hitting, you may as well just work on reducing their, uh, their evasion. And who knows, maybe I'll get a, uh, a stray shot. Okay, and we're just gonna move Decker in. Decker's got a nice 60% hit to hit here. Um, we could do a precision strike. I don't know if it's necessarily worth it with a long range gun, but we have 80% now. Can we jump in? Yeah, we can actually. Let's just uh, try and take out that commando. Oh, I love that. I love that gun. Is that the is that the large laser? I love the sound of it. Like this this game is really just like, um, you know, like kids with toys, but the adult version. I know that's maybe that's sounding that sounds like it's belittling of it a little bit, but I don't I don't mean it like that. It really is like, you know. You know, you're, you're, uh, maybe, uh, maybe this is just like close to home for me, but like uh, a kid and you've got some, some free, like I had, I had, um, this almost feels controversial now. I don't know why, but I had like Bionicles as a kid and I really liked them a lot. I still do. I think that Bionicles are pretty cool because it's basically just Lego mechs, you know, they, they look like robots. And so I love the idea of just like, you know, put some uh put some robots together and and you know and you you know your little kid in the playground or whatever and you're just like making pew pew sounds and um letting letting your imagination run wild and this game just feels like a you know a uh total power trip in that regard it's like yeah go wild pew 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 let the rockets fly and and just like smash some some mechs together have have a ball Oh, I see. So he's in the mineral field, so it's actually harder to hit him. That's why I'm not, I don't have very good odds of hitting him right now. That's fine. We've knocked off both of his arms. Standing by. Critical hit, Commander. Location confirmed. We just have to finish him off, really. Do, 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 Yeah, there we go. Target's down, Commander. Let's get you home and collect our pay. Not too bad. Very quick mission. I guess uh, we're collecting commando parts, aren't we? Not exactly great pay. Should have gone for the money. But you don't know what kind of mechs you're going to go up against is the problem. Oh, wow. That's bad. That is bad. Yo, that is really bad. Oh, God. Oh, that that's... <laughs> I, th I only took mech parts and I don't even think this is paying for this isn't even gonna pay for ammo Because I, I should be getting 11 more pieces and I only have one to pick from ah oh. uh -huh. <laughs> We're selling that commando by the way right away. I don't want a commando. I think they're they're kind of I don't know They They're kind of goofy to me Lady Arano's contract to liberate Weldry is ready for review in the commander command center. We should follow up when you think you that we're ready. A large laser mounted by most 1B models is nothing to sniff at, but it lacks the close-up impact of the SRMs it replaces. Best to keep these units at range for flanking and spotting. 
We're gonna need to do some mech repairs before our next contract boss. Really? I don't even think we took any damage. Um, what, what, what's what's up with that? Uh, did did we just make a commando? Where is it? Oh, is is it right? It's right there. Yeah, I'm gonna sell that right away. Honestly, the the price of selling this commando kind of makes up for how awful our pay was in that mission. Cause ooh, good lord, that was bad. That was horrendous. <laughs> change the pattern i kind of do wish there was a bit more in, in the way of customization um if you've uh I, I wouldn't i would be open to playing this game off for the channel but you know a little bit farther down the line but if you checked out phantom lancer that that game was kind of a game come true or our dream come true in terms of like customizing your mechs and it was just like amazing i i like had to I had a high amount of respect for the level of detail in that game. Um, so this one would give us... Includes travel to Detroit. Is this in Detroit? No, it's Weldry. All right, let's just take our story mission. I don't, I don't believe that this story mission is super difficult. Okay, hold on. In the morning briefing, Darius pulls up an inventory spreadsheet on the Leopard's view screen. We're running a little low on medical supplies. Medi patches, trauma packs, a few other things. It isn't critical yet, but I feel better uh, when we're well stocked. Samaya frowns. Why do you keep patching our supplies in dribs and drabs? Can't we get some kind of bulk discount and get ahead of this problem? Gods, no, we'll end up using them, and maybe the doctors can spend a, uh, speed up our recovery times for a while. Buy extra supplies to boost medical efficiency. Yeah, that seems like a good thing to do. Company gains a plus two medical point boost for 30 days. Uh, I mean, it's going to take me 29 days to travel to Weldry. So what I'm hearing is I'm going to have one day of plus two medical points. So I just threw away 25,000. I should be a bit more mindful of that the boosts that I'm gaining from those are <clears throat> very temporary. And so if we're doing traveling, uh, there's really not a lot that we are going to gain from that. Um, is it what to, outside of the spider needs refitting? I don't feel like anything needs fixing. So I'm just going to keep it to this. I don't know why they're saying that I, I'm going to need to repair my mechs. I really do like the visuals in this game. They went all out. Um, I mean, for me, like, I call this an XCOM-like, but I actually really, really prefer this game to XCOM. <clears throat> There's a few things that, that um, I do like XCOM, and I even, like, maybe I just, like, I, I'm, I'm realizing or I'm coming to the conclusion a lot these days that <clears throat> when I think I don't like a game, it really, all it means is that I bounced off it. And all that means is that it's like, you you know like um a good a good um analogy for this is like i recently well not so recently but like last year replayed dark souls 2. um i was never a fan of dark souls 2 and uh you know my friend jacob a uh, friend of the channel like reintroduced me to it and was like let's let's get through it let's play it um it's time because that's all we've got right now so i'm like okay sure let's play it and all I re the, the only conclusion I really came to is like mitigating um, a couple of mechanics that I didn't like and then finding a weapon that I did like. That's really all it is. Um, we should be okay to do this. I know we're, we're blowing through our finances, but we should be okay. We're going to get quite a bit of money from this uh, mission. I know. So... Um, you know, when it comes to something like XCOM and I think about it, it's like, well, m maybe I don't like it or maybe I just didn't find a play style that fit me, but, you know, super well. A um, couple of things I didn't like about XCOM. We've arrived at Weldry Commander, ready to proceed with the current contract. Sure, proceed. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of dialogue in a second. Real quick, um, a couple things is obviously the, that the game lies to you about your odds of hitting or being hit. 
but also I never understood how to approach a mission because I didn't know where uh, the threat was. That's it, really. And I would always get caught off guard, always, every single time, and it would always hurt me and kill my, get my, my, my dudes killed. Weldry, one of the most notorious hell hole, hellholes in the Ar Oregon Reach. Everything about this place is hostile to human life, and for the past three years, Espinosa has used it as a dumping ground for his politi uh, political enemies. Words are hard. The Directorate has a prison complex on the planet's surface. The inmates call it the Icebox. The image of an imposing structure appears on your view screen. It has the solid, heavy walls that you've come to associate with Torian architecture. It's a holding facility for political prisoners, including high-value hostages, members of the founding families, spouses, sons, and daughters. If we liberate the prison and set them free, we break Espinosa's leverage over the founding houses. The political map will change overnight. We don't know what the Directorate has been doing to our people there, uh, but we have to set them free, and not just for political gain, but because they're our people, and we need your help to do it. Aren't the founding lords and ladies supposed to be powerless figureheads? There are different kinds of powers. The founding houses may be anemic or anemic in terms of mar martial strength, but their words will still carry weight in the Oregon Reach. If they rally behind us, the people who love them will follow. Governments have been toppled with less. My uncle has a hard time supporters everywhere. Their ranks have swelled in the absence of strong opposition, but the remaining members of the founding con- Oh, don't you just love it when you're trying to do something and the fire alarm? Anyway, and the fire alarm? <laughs> My uncle has hardline supporters everywhere. Their ranks have swelled in the absence of strong opposition, but the remaining members of the founding council will rally their people against the directorate if given a chance. Given the chance. By freeing Weldry, we will give them that chance. I need to know what I'm about to send my lands into. What makes Weldry so inhospitable? Everything. From the sub-zero climate to the inevitable... Inedible... Inevitable. Inedible vegetation. The whole planet is infested with blood-sucking insects. The swarm can stretch for miles. You're shitting me. I'm afraid not. They're called Branson's mosquitoes. Imagine a colonial biting fly the size of your thumb. They serve as carriers for harmful bacteria. And you're dropping infantry there on purpose. The army will be safe. Population centers like the icebox use ultrasonics to keep the swarms at bay. But I thank you for your concern, Mr. Vertinen. You've got an army. What do you need us for? Subtle, decisive action. I will lead the army in an all-out assault on the Directorate's primary spaceport. After I've drawn their attention, you will sneak in, attack the icebox, and liberate it. We'll set my uncle's hostages free and put the founding families in our debt, all in one fell swoop. Inner spa a sphere mercenary reminds me of a supply raid I went on in the inner sphere. Guys, I came from the inner sphere. Did you know that? Did you? Yeah, sorry. That was a good plan, too, right up until we made contact with the enemy. I do understand what you're saying, and the chaos of the battlefield is one of the major reasons why I need you on this drop. You and Mastiff improvised on Cormadir, and you got me through the coup alive. I'll be counting on you to use that same adaptability on Weldry, should the need arise. I'll remain in radio contact with you after we hit the ground. Good hunting. Give my uncle's troops the hell that they have earned. After the directorate presence of the planet has been crushed and the icebox has been deliberated, we'll regroup to celebrate the uh, celebrate our, our victory. Give me one sec. All right, we are doing this. Um, put your current military. Is that, oh, it will be waiting for you. Okay, actually, um, now nah, we'll we'll do it. I I was. What do you mean deploy? Oh, that's fine. I, I was gonna say I, I should have leveled up my mech warriors before doing this, but I really don't think it's gonna make that much of a difference. And I really hope I don't end up eating those words. Yo, what are y'all drinking? Got some tea? Got a got a nice beverage? I'd like to think that this will provide some, you know, nice background noise for someone while they do get something productive done, but uh who can say? All right, I'm gonna do a pause here so you don't have to wait for the loading screen. All right, let's do this. Command interface initiated. 
There are two entrances entrances into the complex, Commander. Intel says that each uh, is defended by a series of elevated turrets. I'm also seeing an LRM emplacement between the two checkpoints. M uh, battle mech defenses should be practically nil, as predicted. Lady Arana's preemptive strike has already drawn the prison standard garrison away. I'm seeing heavy vehicles and turrets on my screen. Nothing that you can't handle. Clear away the opposition and capture the prison. Lady Arena and the Restoration Army will take care of the rest. Good hunting. Okay, okay. Let's do this. Let's do it. Um, we're in a tundra biome, and yet they were talking about mosquitoes. I mean, I, you know, I, I guess I can see both of those happening, but something about warm client to me says mosquitoes. Can we jump up that mountain? No, we're going to need to get a little bit closer first. We could split up our army, but I think probably we'll just go all wall flank left. We'll see if maybe um, we can jump someone up there to uh, get a vantage point. Ooh, look at that evasion we're building up. Okay, let's see if we can jump. Oh, we can totally jump up this. So what are those? Those are the chart generators. So hopefully, yeah, let's get some as much evasion as we can and then uh, do some damage. This is a good one, a good spot. Oh, that music. I love that music so much. Wait, was that my turn? I should have been able to fire as well. I thought I was able to fire. Okay, fine. We'll just sprint around. I should be okay. Behemoth, we're good. Behemoth is my short range. Again, the behemoth didn't get a turn after after uh, sprinting. Well, that's fine. Standing by. I'd like to find... A okay, good. Um, we should be able... How come they can't, uh, Decker can't reach those, um, generators On it. from there? Seems a little odd. Okay, we have the, um, initiative advantage, which is good. Let's start with, uh, simple here, and we're gonna try and destroy one of these. I'm, I'm not gonna hold back. I guess, uh, if I move a bit closer, I'll also get the support lasers. Let's let's do make that happen. Like there's not a there's, there's no chance of missing, but at the same time, why take a risk, you know? Standing by. We do have one support laser on the Vindicator. Turn the game down just a little bit. So it, it is worth actually jumping in. There we go. So that is good. One less target. Um, we have some vehicles and we should be able to take some shots on them already. Ooh, oh yeah, right. I remember this. So there's a ton of turret generators over there. And then there's a ton of turrets that kind of like um, are on like the walls. Yeah. So we don't have this uh, when you look at this this shows you the total armor but that doesn't matter because what we really care about is the front armor because that's where we're hitting um we should be able to take this out there we go Receiving. I feel bad about shooting the little guys lol heading out um, let's do a quick look at what we're up against here. So this thing's got four AC2s and then two machine guns. That's a lot of firepower. That is just a lot of firepower. So getting rid of that thing is probably a priority. This thing's only got two SRM4s and one large laser. Now that is also a lot of firepower, it must be said. Um, possibly more or at least comparable. So, uh, I don't have any way of splitting my shot, unfortunately, but I think I am going to just get rid of that bulldog because I know I can. Affirmative. 
Oh wow, that didn't even uh, breach its armor. That's really bad. I probably could have taken out the the turret. Oh god. Oh god. They've got a sensor lock on me. There's there's the ACs. Oh wow, they all hit. That is really bad. And there's another turret over there that hit. Um, our build up there is that we're we're now like if I take another set of blows like that, I'm very likely to get knocked over. And that would be very bad. But I, I'm going to move in. I know that's maybe uh, like a what? What are you doing? But um, hear me out. I'll build up a little bit of evasion. And now I don't have um, to... I don't really have anything to dedicate my other mechs to. So they're all going to move in. Those prison gates on the other side are going to be our best point of entry into the complex. Blow them down to make your way inside or jump the walls if your lance is capable of it, your call. Um, what, what kind of armor are we looking at here? Not a lot. We should take out these turrets now if we can. Um, I don't think there's any reason to do a precision strike. There we go. That's good. Um, yeah, we could, um, that, uh, that bulldog, honestly, I think poses a greater threat than the laser. I really want to take it out. I can. Oh God. That's, that does not bode well. There's a lot, there's a lot of mission here. So, um, you know, like it's, it's not great. And... It looks like Big Simple here cannot actually reach anything. So he's just going to sprint his or jump his way down. I guess I could I did a little sprint. I meant to jump. But If I can take out that oh 80%. That, what is that striker? They got a, oh, an LRM-10 and an SRM-6. It, they're, they're kind of no slouch either. But let's take out that. I, I know we're, we're um, 40 damage. 40 damage I don't think has any... Oh, yeah, it could, it could kill it. Let's um, do a precision strike on it and make sure that we actually destroy this thing. There we go. Reporting. We're still in trouble, but l less like major danger major danger oh god stop hitting the shadow hawk i really need to get them out of there Enemy sensor lock detected. there's another turret good thing they didn't hit everything there Ready for orders. okay let's uh let's get away from those other turrets okay that's a better jump Probably I'm still in range of the other turret, but at least I can hit this thing. Not not destroyed, that's fine. Oh god. Waiting for orders. Um Let's see what we can do here. Can we dedicate Big Simple can hit quite a lot from where they are. Let's uh, let's do this jump. I would like to kill this striker. I mean, it is actually got quite a lot going on. Um, they've only got 15 structures, so if I can hit it really nicely on the side, then that would work. What we could do is do a multi-target. I know, I know, the multi-target is probably not necessarily super recommended but i don't think it's a bad idea here okay i'm not sure why i thought that was gonna take it out well at least we got rid of the turret oh well, that music is very extra right now um it's left side has 31 health yeah i don't know why i thought that i was gonna take it out Let's just attack this thing and... Oh, I, I don't have the um, ability to here right now. I'll just do a, like a little maneuver jump 
and then uh hit hit this thing oh i should have just like melee punched it that would have taken it out no problem all right now decker's gonna be able to like pummel these turret generators nice that's one i'm not sure which one controls what like if i could take out specifically the turret generator that controls this guy over here then i absolutely would do that but it's not a not a big deal there is another vehicle somewhere um kind of hiding around a corner there it is ah there oh they missed that's fine that's good i'm gonna prioritize taking out these generators for the time being there we go and i mean behemoth uh, is close enough it could actually oh god is there another vehicle oh there's another vehicle damn it well let's go there and try and take out the scorpion oh we are overheating let's take off one medium laser structure exposed but we didn't take it out and then i just want to take out this last turret generator cool so we're gonna take a couple of hits literally two hits what's up boss um it'd be a good idea just to take these guys out if we can could do a precision strike just to make sure we we kill it Okay, I was gonna say that I would have I would have been very disappointed if that hadn't take, taken them out. Copy that. Seems like a, a job for the uh, Centurion long range missiles. Up, 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 uh. I was, those were good hits, but um, it's just got some pretty t pretty beefy ammo or armor. Okay, let's get over there and start um, putting some walls between us. I can... Oh, right. Just brace. Commander? We're probably just going to, like, attack that gate. I don't have jump jets on everyone. That sucks. Barely hit, Commander. You say barely, but I mean... I it did hit you. Nice. Vehicle destroyed. We don't have to worry about that. Decker's the only one. He's going to lag behind a little bit. Whoa, what, really? Already? I really thought it was going to take a, a couple more hits than that. Nice. Okay. That is destroyed building, reduce movement and spotting distance, but they provide cover. So let's just hang out here while we group up. Breach the prison gates. Prison is ours. All directorate personnel to action stations. God damn it. This is not a drill. Looks like you've got more company. I'm seeing heat signatures coming online in the prison mech bay. The warden must have held a lance in reserve. Sit tight, Commander. Lady Arano is aware of the situation. Reinforcements are on the way. Yay. <laughs> I like uh, Lady Arano as a, as a character, but they do, they do come across as like, uh, just like a protagonist, if that makes sense. Um, okay, let's, let's just get everyone over there. Location confirmed. Good for now. Cooling down a bit. Got Everyone's, uh, cooling their jets somewhat. Decker, we can move in because... Oh, is Decker actually caught up? For the Oregon people... Oh, Lady Kameo is already in there? I didn't expect that to happen so soon. I was just trying to group up. I figured that this cutscene was going to trigger when I moved in. That's maybe not good for us. 
We'll move uh, in big simple now that we've got sights on them. Can we? We can't take a shot, unfortunately. But we can sensor lock them. So let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, you see all that damage on there? That's um, unfortunately we missed uh, our Lady Arano's big opener, but she blows through the wall and then pummels the Jenner with about 50 different missiles and lasers. I guess that's that's her attack right there. Oh, and she gets other, she, she split her shot. So she's just got a, like a ridiculous amount of guns on her mech. Ow, oh, that hurt. They just hit us for 60 on that thing. Okay, so we've got a Centurion and a Jenner. The Centurion is actually exposed. The Jenner is not. But the Jenner has very little armor left. So we could see what we could do here. I mean, we could pretty much hit the Jenner anywhere. And it would uh, potentially destroy them. Sensors impaired. Ramshackle, this unit has been kept in such poor condition. Sensor locked. Okay, so we did sensor lock it. So uh, we only have 50% on that. Versus the other one where we've got 80%. And the, the leg is exposed. So we could probably knock it over. So yeah, let's hit the Centurion. And I'll aim for the leg. See if we can't get a, a good, good old knock over. We blew the arm off. That's not what I aimed for at all. Oh, is there a third mech that I didn't see? There is a third mech. Oh, that's the trebuchet. Trebuchet is mean. So I don't think we're going to be able to hit anything with glitch, unfortunately. So I might just have her sprint in just to offer another target. One with evasion. We'll get to... Oh, she's actually going to be able to hit something. Ugh. It's not... It's not as good as he'd, as he'd like. Can I... Can we please knock over? Just, just like... Just whisper something at that... Centurion. It's just like ready to fall over. How much? 52. Actually, there's no way we're going to be able to destroy that leg. So we may as well not even waste... Um, Let's not waste a pre precision strike on it. Honestly, I might even have a better chance of... Nah, I don't know. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna go for the Centurion. We'll see what happens. I'll just... I'll, I'll leave it up to fate if something gets knocked off. Oh god, there's a fourth one. I forgot about that one. That's the big one. What is that? A Jaeger mech. I don't know if it's Jaeger mech or Jagger mech. Jaeger mech just sounds beefy. Okay, we're going to jump into that pool, that nice, cool, icy pool, um, and start pummeling. I just want to, like, kill this lad. Oh, that's, that's a good start. I don't think that that was a wasted attack. Lady Arano is gonna... Wow, I mean, that was surprisingly ineffective. If she hadn't split her shot, she might have taken out that Centurion. Rookie mistake, honestly. He says as being, like, the absolute king of splitting every single shot and destroying nothing. <laughs> This trebuchet is kind of blocking everything. We need to kill that centurion. I'm so sick and tired of looking at it. Let's hit that, uh, maybe the center. What is the center? Oh, yeah. If we hit that center, it's dead. There we go. Get everyone in the pool. Everyone in the pool. Oh, did I have her medium laser turned off? That is, like, my mistake. Um, can I not attack the other thing? Is the other thing not visible to me, apparently? Really? I can only hit the, tre the trebuchet. That's such a weird quirk. Okay, well, whatever. Um, 
What do we got? LRM 15 medium laser. I would like to not blow that up because then I get to keep it. So maybe we just aim for the left arm or something. What's up? And uh, Decker, you can just like, you can go ham. You've earned it. Copy that. That hit something good. Oh God. The blackjack is exposed. But we've all, we've got, we've all got some good, um, Evasion built up so fortunately no one got knocked over but give it a give it a second. It might still happen Can we do like a jump attack? Ooh Yeah, let's do a jump attack on that trebuchet just because it's cool Nice Oh no 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 and that was a mistake oh no yo alrano can you maybe take on the bigger of the two targets jeez this is like a giant freaking dude there and you're going for the jenner Je Lady Arano is just looking to expand like put another notch on her arm. He's like, yeah, I killed like three mechs in it. Yeah, you kill all the small ones. There's a giant mech there just like waiting Oh, that was bad It's fine. I didn't have a good um, line of sight on them. So may as well just like waste a shot to get that evasion down classic tact Let's um, let's destroy this thing Copy that. Sorry lady Arano, you don't get another uh, you don't get it. You don't get the kill Hope we, can salvage that. we we should be able to salvage that Moving out. Um, what have they got on their arm Two AC, uh, the ACs Oh, is this the one I think if I like hit it somewhere specific its ammo might explode that could be anywhere actually um i'm gonna go for that right torso because it could be that i get the the nice fun crit um with the ammo the ammo might explode and uh, the worst case is i knock off a laser and it's it's other arm Roger. Up, 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 up. ac5 crit I don't know if that means the, the ammo didn't explode. Oh, don't shoot at my No, one more hit and and my dude is dead Commander? Right commander There we go RA destroyed Critical hit. A lady around is gonna go in for the kill I mean, those are some solid connects. Oh my god. Because of the right arm was destroyed, all of that all of that damage just went directly into the torso. Let's go for it. Execute. Here we go. Punch. Nice. Went in for the flying kick. <laughs> That is really hard on our mech. I shouldn't do that, but it's it's just fun. The prison is ours. Thanks for the assist, Lady Arano. I'll have Samire bring us a down for the victory celebration. There will be no celebrating, not after what I saw out there. Gods, Darius, the things the Directorate has done to these people. Kamea, I need you to meet me in the prison hospital right now. What is it? Better that you see for yourself. And Kamea, prepare yourself. This isn't going to be easy. Mission successful. That was a close call. That was almost not a very clean. I mean, it was not a clean success, really. My mech, my my mechs aren't too uh, you know, 
uh, harmed or damaged. So there, there is that. But um, sustaining a, an injury and almost killing one of my pilots is just really not a good idea or not a good thing. And it costs us almost as much money as if our mech is destroyed. Oof, look at all that damage. It's going to be... They're going to be injured for 40 days and uh, probably the blackjack is going to be in service for quite a long time. But hey, look at this. Um, we got Jenner, Trebuchet, Jaeger mech. Um, I wouldn't mind taking, yeah, if we get LRM 15, that's a good find. That's a good get right there. I would like, I would like a lot of things here though. Um, I would really like to get these support machine guns. Eh, actually, SRM 6 would be nice. What did we get? Well, we got the Centurion part, which is nice. We got the AC5s, so that's actually quite nice. We got the MG, and we got the SRM6. Awesome. That is that is fantastic. That is a very good, um, good haul. Excellent. So we're probably going to run through some story, and then we're going to do some repairs, and then we're going to do some leveling up, and then, then that will be the end of the episode. That'll be it. But there's some fun surprises um coming up which i think you'll appreciate i, I, I mean unless you forces found and it was too late played the game a thousand times or something i'm sorry come there he was here all this time Rashu. So yeah, our old mentor, Mastiff, was being held in a prison. They are for sure dead? Question mark? I mean, I'm so sorry. I know how much Mastiff meant to you. He was a friend and mentor to us both. He was more than that. The old man was like a second father to me, and my uncle co commend, uh, condemned him to waste away on this rock, to die wretched and broken in agony. I knew Sir Raju longer than either of you. I'll avenge him. I promise you that. We'll avenge him together. There's no coming back from what I've witnessed here today. What they've done here is monstrous. It's inhuman. Our intel is, was wrong, Alexander. The icebox isn't a prison. It's a meat grinder. My own family is behind this. What's left of mine was chosen to look the other way. Um, it isn't an easy thing to wrap your head around, but try to remain focused. We've just liberated the directress hostages with a single blow. You've shattered your uncle's hold on the founding houses. The prisoners you've set free are already calling you the Sword of Restoration. We need to spread this message all the way to Cor Cormadir to galvanize your supporters and weaken Espinosa's popularity there. Galvanize your supporters. I like the sound of that. It won't be an easy process. For the last three years, those who love House Arano have been keeping their heads down. We won't break them that uh, of that overnight. In truth, an appreci uh, appreciable percentage of Cormadir's population supports Director Espinosa in centralizing power. He improved the quality of life on the throne world considerably, and people will forgive a great deal for security and comfort. With our victory on Weldry, we'll, uh, we've all seen what happened to those who would not be bought or indoctrinated, those who refused to kneel before a tyrant. We know what become uh, what became of the people who are made to disappear. And soon enough, the entire Reach will know it, too. The momentum is on our side, Kamea. We need to take advantage of it. You're right. This isn't the time for hand-wringing. But, Alexander, you didn't see what I saw out there, on the other end of the battlefield. The work crews, all hunched and broken. The graveyards, great fields of unmarked burial plots that uh, stretched as far as the eye could see. Every time I blink, I see it, the misery that was allowed to fester there. 
Inner Sphere Mercenary, I can picture it well enough. I saw my share of gulags during my tour in the Inner Sphere. Sorry, let me... The Inner Sphere. I have a background in Inner Sphere. I'm sure you did. <laughs> That's the appropriate response. The director doesn't have a monopoly on cruelty, but before my uncle's coup, the Oregon Reach was better than this. This place is going to stay with people, with these people for the rest of their lives. I'd do anything to be able to spare them that hurt, but I can't. Word of advice from an old veteran, Lady Arano. Focus on something you can do. Give us an order. Tell us to blow something up. Shit, use your imagination. The key is you do something and you move on. Thank you, Chief Vertinan. You have a good crew. Big simple. I have a new assignment for you and a reward for your service. Heck yeah, reward. The Argo appears on your view screen. She's in rough shape, but she appears to be spaceworthy. For decades, the wreck site of the Argo was one of my father's most closely held secrets. When I sent you to retrieve her, I meant for her to serve a symbolic purpose, a sign of rebirth and renewal, emblazoned with the Arano uh, cormorant for all to see. I was naive. This is a time for action, not symbols. And so, big simple, I have decided that she will be yours to command. The Argo will serve as your new home, and she will fly your mercenary banner. Lord Madeira will join you to act as my liaison, uh, liaison, and in return you will grow stronger, sharper, more flexible. You will hone your company to a razor's edge, one that I will hold to the directorate's throat. In that case, congratulations, you've got yourself a navy. If that's settled, then please, Kamea, go back to that tria to the triage tent and get your wounds looked at. The conditions are uh, here are beyond unsanitary, and you'll be of no use to anyone if you're dying of some exotic infection. Hey, dude, that's that's rude. Our people contend to the wounded. We need you strong for the fight ahead. I will, Alexander, but not just yet. Assemble our people in the courtyard. There's something that I need to say. Espinosa has imprisoned and starved and murdered our people. And where was I? Hiding in a palace, light years away, building support, planning. While the Directorate's secret police turned neighbor against neighbor, made your loved ones disappear, conscripted your children. I wasn't here. I didn't know. The crimes that I have witnessed here today are unforgivable. No doubt, Director Espinosa believes that the ends justify the means, that the Oregon Reach has been made strong. Well, I say that strength built on fear is brittle. The Directorate is a paper tiger. And I declare this restoration today to rally the true strength of our people, our resilience, and our freedom. Let Weldry be a call to arms. Join us, and together we will liberate the Founding Houses and retake Cormadir. Not because it is my birthright, but because the Directorate's crimes against you, the Oregon people, will no longer be tolerated. That is what I fight for, and I vow to fight for your freedoms to my dying breath. Ah, uh, nice. Uh, half ship will travel. Hello again, my mercenary friends. Before you officially take possession of the Argo, I wanted to introduce myself in person. I never really got a chance to meet properly on a Axelos. So, uh, hi. I'm Dr. Farah Murad. Or just Farah, if you prefer. It's nice to meet you all face to face. Yeah, Doc, you too. I'm gonna call you Doc, by the way. You should probably go ahead and get used to it. It was impressive work you did, getting the Argo flying between you and me. I had my doubts. Honestly, I did too. You should have seen what the Argo's interior looked like after a couple of hundred years of pirate, co pirate occupation. Actually, I take that back. If you'd seen what I saw, you would never have wanted to set foot inside. 
Take it from me, the ship has been deloused from bow to stern, and every meter of her has been hosed down with industrial grade disinfectant. The ship is clean enough to eat off of, I swear. Respectfully, Dr. Murad, I couldn't care less how clean the ship is. I lost a friend today. Eh. Thanks for, I'm sure that we all appreciate it. I'm pleased to hear it, and glad we're getting off on the right foot. It isn't every day that you get to in introduce your new crewmates to the ship you just built. New crewmates? Do you know something that we don't? Did a lady, a lady Arano not say? I'm coming with you. You'll need me if anything goes wrong with the ship. Not that it will, mind you, but, you know, just in case. Oh, and Darius, I'm sorry about all the sh uh, shouting back on Axelus. As it turns out, getting shot at by pirates puts me on edge. No hard feelings? None at all. Keep this beast flying and you can yell at me as much as you want. Hell, I'm used to it. Welcome to the family. You too, Lord Madeira. I, uh... Never imagined we'd be working together, but I'm glad to have the opportunity. As am I, Mr. Oliveira. But the years of our exile, Lady Arano told me a great deal about you and your company. All of it good. Even before the events of the coup, she knew about Markham's marauders. Your assistance in the in her father's uh, Fjelder campaign did not go unnoticed. It was a job... Lord Madeira, we only did what High Lord Tamati uh, paid us to do. Still, it uh, feels good to be appreciated, and to know that someone out there still remembers Commander Markham's name. You'll be a welcome addition aboard the Argo, Lord Madeira. Thank you, Commander Beard. Speaking of which, you'll have uh, some time to break your new ship in before Lady Arena is ready to move on Panzer. She needs to consolidate our forces on Weldry and replace our losses with fresh volunteers. You remember her orders. You were to sharpen your company and grow strong. And now that you have a mobile command center worthy of the title, I suggest that you use it. I'll get you a fresh batch of contracts to look over, Florentia. The whole Rimworld periphery is our, our oyster now. We won't be limited by depths or travel restrictions. Exciting times, I've got to say. Exciting? Doesn't begin to describe it. This is like returning from exile all over again. Guys, I was in exile. Did you know that? I'm right here with you. Boss, it's gonna feel damn good to spread our wings. Speaking of which, shouldn't we go aboard our new ship? There's an absolutely enormous mech bay in there, and it's got my name written all over it. Damn right it does, Yang. Y'all heard him. Take your stations, everyone. We're free agents until Lady Arano calls for us, and there's money to be made. The Argo is in not good shape. Is not in good shape, Commander, but with time, Commander, uh, money, some Chief Vertinan's technical resources, we can address most of the major problems. Maybe even make this place nice again. I'll be in engineering if you want to know more. Lady Arena said she wanted us to grow stronger. With these mech facilities, we finally have the resources to do that. Bring me scrapped mechs from missions and shops, and I'll rebuild them into fighting machines. And remember, boss, when it comes to mechs, bigger is usually better. Alright. We're gonna need to do some mech repairs. Yeah, I know that part. I do know. So we, uh, we have, have the Argo now, and uh, we've got uh, the ability to upgrade its components. So let me see, power systems is probably what we want to do first. Getting a minimum level of power to the ship's systems without constant trip breakers and burnouts is a major miracle. So we're going to do that. We can only work on one thing at a time. Um, I'm probably going to want to work on mech bays, but recreation wouldn't be a bad thing either. Plus, morale is, is always nice. Um, I'm not sure if this is plus one morale uh, as a rate or just like in general, but it's a good thing to have. So yeah, we are going to be upgrading this over time. Um, let's look at our mech warriors. Let's level them up. Starting with the behemoth, um, we got 36,000. We'll just work towards tactics. Confirm. Same with Big Simple. We can also give him some piloting because um, he tends to do some melee hits. Uh, Decker's got piloting, but I'm going to work on tactics for the time being. I feel like Big Simple should take some guts. Get some guts also because uh, he's, he's taking some hits. Um, glitch is almost towards that next big one, but we're gonna need some more before we... <clears throat> oh, yeah, and Medusa, I have basically not been using Medusa at all. We can have a quick look at the store. 
Um, we've got a Centurion Enforcer. I don't think I've got an Enforcer. Or I've, I don't think I've ever had an Enforcer. Um, we have no parts for the Quick Draw. I would like to have a Quick Draw. This is a Stalker. Oh, this is a 85 ton mech. Dang. Uh, comm systems. What is this? All mechs come equipped with a stock po cockpit configuration, which can be upgraded for improved uh, performance. Comm system upgrade allow for better lance cohesion during combat. Oh, it, it just increases resolve. Range finder. This is, this is all fine. We can, um, let's also repair our mechs. Well, really, just the blackjack. I apparently am going to have to refit it. Uh, okay. Well, it looks like just the heat sink was repaired or, uh, or damaged. So we'll have to slap another heat sink on there. Oh, I don't have another heat sink. Okay. Let's, uh, let's buy another heat sink. There you go. Um, wow, the blackjack is still very underweight. Why not put some jump jets on? Oh, we already maxed out the jump jets, right? Can we put any more guns on this thing? We really can't. I think I was holding out for maybe a large laser. Can we put a large laser on there? We can, and that really doesn't change or affect it at all. And in fact, we're still kind of underweight. So why don't we buy another? Actually, how does the heat sink compare to the uh, heat bank? So the heat bank is one ton. Heat sink is also one ton. Let's, um, I'm going to buy a heat bank i know that's a big buy but i think it'd be worth putting something like that on uh on this mech because it's just like constantly firing lasers we'll max out the armor we're basically like this is a well-stocked mech i actually feel very good about this mech right i'll get it in the skip cool um we did get something i think for the vindicator no. Uh, who is it that uses short? Okay, here we go. The Shadowhawk. Um, we got another six, our SRM six. So let's go ahead and slap that on there. I don't think that there's any reason not to. Oh, except that I guess this, um, the head doesn't have enough room for an SRM six. So actually this is as well stocked as it's going to get. Interesting. Okay, well then, um, I think the only thing left is to look at the Centurion because uh, we did get an LRM-15 and I think the LRM-15 is worth putting on here. This thing's already maxed out um, weight-wise. And this is going to put us overweight more. But that being said, the uh, Centurion doesn't tend to get itself into too much trouble we could take that heat sink off i know that's like we we really don't generate that much heat with the, the, the lrms they do 10 each and then the lrm 15 does what 14. it sounds like a lot but i i honestly think that it's fine i don't know maybe i'll be wrong maybe maybe i'll find out that i'm wrong Um, okay, I'm pretty comfortable with this. On it. I'll let you know when that's done. Okay, so... Vindicator, we could look at maybe swapping something out on the Vindicator. I think that this is fine, though. The only thing that I could maybe have is another small laser. So that I can do more punching with it. But, um, yeah, outside of that, I think we're good. Uh, so let's just, like, look at contracts. We're probably going to want to move out of this sector, but look at all the jobs we have now. 
And it looks like they're all in system. So we'll probably take one of these. I might um, take some for just money, but I don't know. I, I would I would always like to accrue some more parts. Um, and the nice thing about getting parts, especially mech parts, is that when we get the mech, we can always choose to sell it. Um, you know, it gives us a little bit of flexibility. But either way, that's going to end the episode. Um, if you are enjoying this series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.